grilled and ready to go. This meat is so yummy, it's gonna make your taste buds dance. Wow, that seems like a lot of meat for the two of us. Oh no, this one's for me. I was going to do yours next. What? How do you eat that much? Oh, you know, open my mouth, bite, chew. I won't bore you with all the details. Wow, <laughs> you're really something, Tamara. <gasps> Please keep your voice down. I've heard that this area isn't very safe. You can say that again. It's absolutely crawling with bandits. That's why I'm out here like a nice, tempting hunk of lamb on a spit. Wait a minute. That was your plan? To use yourself as bait? It worked, didn't it? Look, those bruisers have had their eye on us since we got here. It looks like... It looks like they're getting ready for an ambush. Not if we pounce on them first. Come on, this ought to be a piece of cake for you and me. Uh, all right. But, you know, a little heads up would have been nice. Thanks, Divine One. You really saved my bacon. I was happy to help. I will say, I wasn't expecting our picnic to turn into a two-person raid on the bandit's hideout. Really? That's how most of my picnics go, to be honest. When you invited me, you said we'd be eating meat together. And I was telling the truth. You got a nice big helping, right? Yes, I was stuffed. I only wish you had said something like, I've found the bandits' camp, so let's barge in, take them out, and then grill up some meat. That would have been more, you know, accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so wordy, though. My way was much more concise. That's one way to look at it. Still, you never cease to amaze. You take it upon yourself to help root out bandits. What, is that not normal? I'm just protecting my people. I thought that's what royalty was supposed to do. You say something completely radical, like it's the most obvious thing in the world. <laughs> that's my charm. It's meat o'clock. You in? That depends. Will there be a surprise bandit hunting trip this time? <laughs> no. I promise. It's just you, me, and some fresh grilled hunks of meat. I got a nice haul from the latest hunting trip, and I want to share the spoils. All right. In that case, I'd be happy to partake. <sighs> I'm so full I can hardly move. I must say... That was delicious. Good job at the grill. Uh-oh. What is it? Okay, before you get mad, I really did intend for this to be a plain old picnic. But there are some thugs surrounding us, and it looks like they have other ideas. What? I thought we cleared them out. I thought so too. There must have been a hideout I missed in my investigation. <sighs> there are a lot of them. I'll create a breach, and you run through to safety. Hmm. Good plan. But here's another to consider. Let's take them all out and eliminate the bandit threat once and for all. If we do that, everyone in this entire region will feel much more safe. <laughs> Hate to admit it, but I like that better. <laughs> I guess you're rubbing off on me. Come on. Let's make sure these jerks never ruin a picnic again. Right behind you. Divine One, you know the people of Solm value freedom above everything else, right? I do. That goes for me, too. I love doing whatever I want to do, whenever I want to do it. It's just, do you ever feel chained down by your closest friendships? What do you mean? When we connect with people, you know, really bond with them, those bonds make us stronger. I mean, our closest allies help us do things we could never do all by ourselves. That's powerful stuff. But those bonds, those friendships, 
can feel like obligations, too. I see what you mean, and you're not wrong. Sometimes, when you care about someone, you have to put their desires before your own. That happens in close relationships. So you have to give up close relationships to really be free? Is that what you think? I think you should take this. Is that... the Pact Ring? Yes, and I want you to have it, Tamara. Me? But why? Because this will bring us closer together, but never take your freedom from you. I care about you, Tamara, and I don't want you to lose the thing you hold most dear. Do you really think you and I can have this kind of a bond, and also have our freedom? Yes, I really do. That's so... beautiful. I suppose I have my answer then. I... I'll accept the ring. I promise you, though our hearts will remain connected, you will be free. I like the sound of that very much. This will be our bond forever. No matter where we are or where we go, we are always together. <laughs>